Hello my dear students, in today's video we will discuss about a very important topic from the chapter ray optics that is refraction at a spherical surface. This is a derivation uh, which is very important for your exam. Now in my previous videos I have explained to you total internal reflection, refraction, mirror equation and uh, its magnification etc. The figure shows uh, the geometry of formation of image I of an object O on the principal axis of a spherical surface with center of curvature C and uh, its radius of curvature is R. The rays are incident from a medium of refractive index N1 to another refractive index N2. Here we take the aperture or the lateral size of the uh, refracting surface as very small compared to the other distances like u, v and r. So that we can apply the uh, angle approximation. In particular this uh, distance called uh, pm over here is very very small so that we can take np and nm as the same okay so np will be considered will as a uh, straight line the other distances are object distance u that is the distance from the um, center of the refracting surface to the object then there is r that is the radius of curvature that is the distance from the center of the refracting surface to center of curvature that is called r and from the center of the uh, refracting surface to the image i the distance is called v we can see here the first medium is a rarer medium and the second medium is a denser medium okay now we will uh, derive the equation for that what we have to consider is uh, this first we will consider the triangle right triangle nop okay in triangle nop we will write the equation here uh, in triangle NOP uh, what is tan alpha tan alpha is equal to NP divided by OP next is uh, triangle NIP in NIP triangle we have tan beta tan beta is equal to its opposite side is np again np divided by pi in triangle ncp tan gamma we get tan gamma is equal to np divided by pc According to the small angle approximation, you can say alpha is equal to NP by OP. Similarly, beta is equal to NP by PI and gamma is equal to NP by PC. Now, you come to this uh, triangle over here that is ONP. So, what ON? Uh, C actually in the triangle ONC in triangle ONC what you can see is alpha plus gamma is equal to I that is the base angle sum will be equal to the exterior angle so I is equal to we can say I is equal to alpha is NP by OP plus gamma is NP by PC Now similarly we will take uh, this triangle that is NCI in triangle uh, NCI gamma the exterior angle gamma is equal to R plus beta or R the triangle R is equal to gamma minus beta. What is gamma? Gamma we know that it is NP by PC and beta is np by pi 
So this is our equation number 6, this is 7. Now according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, what you can write? We can say that n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r. So we will write our values of uh, sin i as i and sin r as r. So what is n1 i? n1 i we will uh, give the values that is np by pu plus np by pc is equal to n2 into r. n2 into r is equal to how much? r is np by pc minus np by pi. So np is a common factor in all uh, over this equation. So np can be taken out and cancelled. So our equation will be like, we will open the bracket and write n1 by op plus n1 by pc is equal to n2 by pc minus n2 by pi. Now the PC terms will take, denominator PC terms will take together and the other terms will bring to one side. So N1 by OP plus N2 by PI is equal to N2 by PC minus N1 by PC you got. This equation we will give a number. We give 7 as the last number so we will give 8. Now, what is OP, PI, PC, etc. that we will check. What is OP? OP is equal to the object distance that is on the uh, left side of this refracting surface. So, it is minus U. PI is on the right side of the refracting surface. So, it is plus V. PC is equal to R. So, what will we do here is we will substitute these values in equation number 8. So, that is n1 by minus u plus n2 by v is equal to n2 by r minus n1 by r. We will rearrange and write n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r. So, this is our relation for uh, refractive index and the various distances of the refracting surface. N2 by V minus N1 by U is equal to N2 minus N1 by R, where N2 is the uh, refractive index of the denser medium, N1 is the refractive index of the rarer medium, R is the radius of curvature, U is object distance and V is the image distance. I will do a numerical that is a spherical convex surface of radius of curvature 20 cm made of glass n equal to 5 is placed in air. Find the position of the image formed if a point object is placed at 30 cm in front of the convex surface on the principal axis. Object is kept 30 cm in front of the convex surface. So this is our u value. Uh, the medium has 1.5 as the refractive index. This is air over here. So, its refractive index is N1 is 1. This is N2 which is of glass. So, 1.5 and we will find out what is V. So, we can use the same formula what we studied just now that is N2 by V minus N1 by U is equal to N2 minus N1 by R. So, N2 is 1.5, we do not know the V value. N1 is 1, U is uh, 30 centimeter, that is minus 30 centimeter because it is on the left side of the ray of light. The ray of light goes like that and the measurement is from here to here. So, PO, the measurement is done as PO, so it is negative is equal to 1.5 minus 1 divided by R, R is 20. Because R is positive because it is a convex surface. Now, we will rearrange the terms and uh, find out what is the value of uh, V. So, 1.5 V 
plus 1 by 30 is equal to 0.5 by 20 you get 1.5 uh, divided by v uh, plus 1 by 30 is equal to uh, 0.5 by 20 that is 0.5 by 20 if you multiply by 2 on numerator and denominator it will be 1 by 40 so we can say 1.5 is nothing but 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 v uh, is equal to 1 by 40 minus 1 by 30 so from here when you calculate v we get it as uh, 3 by 2 v is equal to minus 1 by 120 you get and v is equal to minus 180 centimeters we get